what is up guys taps here from the urban goddess shop welcome back to my channel today's video we're gonna head out sourcing uh kind of excited things are going really well with my va and it's allowing me to expand my business and i've really been against expanding my business for the last six months um just time wise just trying to be realistic with the amount of time that i have to put into it and yeah it's just it didn't really work for me and my life basically it didn't work I'm only trying to work you know a day and a half reselling a week and I can only accomplish so much in those hours as well so this has really opened up some opportunity for me and I think it's going to change how I'm sourcing as well so I know I'm like the queen of pivot and you guys are probably like, Tab, you're always changing things, but I literally am. I'm gonna tell you guys, if I'm stuck in a rut, I never stay in ruts. I am always trying to claw my way out and find a new way. I never just stay in like, blah. Do you know what I mean? Like if, if something's not working in my business, I am on it. I'm figuring out new ways. And I think this is gonna be a pretty viable option for me to grow my business and, um, just more like stock things up. That's what I need to do. I need to like stock things up into my store. I want to build it to over a thousand items now. Like I've just been thinking about it so much and I'm like, I need to get to a point where I have like lots of quality pieces. And if I can get up more listings, I feel like I can sell a little bit lower ASP. My profit margin is still obviously important, but I can do a little bit more volume, which would trump the high ASP. Like there's like so many things. Anyways, I'm not going to stop picking up my be my bread and butter, like my Aritzia, my Lululemon, um, my higher end dresses and things that I've been finding recently. I'm not changing that part of my business. That is here to stay. I love that stuff, but I am going to start picking up more average items and playing around with that trying to see what's selling what people are looking for because that's a market I haven't been selling in for quite a while and uh, I'm interested to see what works and what sells anyways so yeah just here telling you guys spilling my beans telling you all my thoughts and uh, I think it's gonna be a fun journey over the next couple months seriously I think it's gonna be a wild ride and I'm holding on let's do this all right, so goal for today, just find as many items that I can make money on. And I'm feeling good, I'm feeling the juju, um, I'm in the mood, the mindset's right, like everything is lining up for me right now and I feel like those are really important um, alignments when you're going in sourcing. Some days if you're just not feeling it, it's hard to find that motivation in the stores. Uh, I do get burnt out after three hours of sourcing, like three hours is my max it really is after that I'm like not wanting to be there so I'm gonna try and make hay today and see how many fantastic pieces that we can find all right drink my water store opens in one minute I gotta go bye morning oh exactly don't be mad, but I made really quick work and filled my cart. There was no one here when I got here. So now we're gonna go through and kinda snoop around the store. But I wanna try and make over to the other one as well and see if I can find a ton of stuff. Cause usually when it's good at one store, it's good at both. Uh, let's just take a quick peek at the mugs. Why do they cover them? this is from the year 2000 I remember the year 2000 New Year's Eve actually <laughs> I was still in high school I was hoping that that would be brass but it's not I've been looking for some brass ornaments lately and I just haven't had any here. And I see other people finding brass ornaments and I'm always wondering where the heck they are. Or are they really just that few and far between? I 
feel this is like very 70s or 80s. And another thing my grandma had hanging in her house, oversized wooden utensils. All right, standing. Mug. Nothing. Nothing, you guys. All right, let's put our cart back. Oh my gosh. Like, I literally just robbed the store. Just robbed the store. It's unreal. So, um, I don't know how to do this. I think I'm going to rip over to the other location and then we're going to do one giant thrift haul at the end and go over everything because there's just so much and i want to keep going guys i'm so sorry okay we'll go to the next one i can't even oh my gosh i can't even throw it into my car what the actual heck heck i cannot believe all this stuff i just found for love and lemons a ton of Spanx. found two i think two new brands to me one of them is designer and it's super expensive and oh my gosh i'm just so blown away i like set that intention <laughs> and then yeah oh man i'm on cloud nine okay we're gonna head over to the other location and see if we can scoop up just a few more items i just when things are good they're good and i feel like you need to make hay when the sun shines i'm just blown away i got a couple of pieces actually for us personally too which is cool um yeah okay i'm gonna head there we'll go in and then we're just gonna do a massive thrift haul at the end because this is massive the bag is absolutely stuffed i think i have one more bag in the back that i can take two ikea bags today would be like crazy absolutely crazy i am not bringing a bag let's uh let's see what we can find oh my gosh i haven't been this excited um in a couple weeks <laughs> probably since that day where i found all that cool stuff at that honey hole that's how long it's been since i've been this excited about sourcing okay heading in why am i vibing with these these are so cool not very well made I don't even know who the brand is, but uh, <laughs> so summery western. I really like to find a pair of Burks. That's kind of what I'm looking for right now. And I haven't found a pair in forever, although I heard there was some people that got a couple pairs the other day at the other location. Oh my gosh, the music's so loud here, guys. What are these? These are very unique, but cheap quality. Nothing really standing out. Because every time I, I get it, then I find something I really like. Yep. <laughs> I know. I agree. I tried to. I didn't have one today, but... Oh, I wish I would have asked you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, people are like absolutely the kindest. Oh, so, so nice. <sighs> okay, that was pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, there's way too many items to do a car haul. It would be crazy. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go home. I'm pooped. So I've been sourcing for two hours and 20 minutes and I am exhausted. I have flipped through all the new tags in both locations in all s categories, pretty much. Maybe like, oh, maybe a couple I didn't do, but I feel like I've gotten most of them. That was a lot of hangers I flipped really quickly. So draining. I was like on cloud nine. I'm still on cloud nine. I'm in shock at everything I found, but let's uh let's go home and go over this haul because this is substantial i spent 240 i spent 330 dollars today at value village which i'm gonna be real with you guys i haven't done that in months like pff, i don't even remember the last time i spent that much money in one day at value village usually it's like the buy sell trades but i don't know what's going on it's crazy crazy i'm just i'm in shock today i'm in 
straight shock. Let's head home and go over all these amazing finds. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's just so excited every time I come home. Hey, Karen. <laughs> oh, they finally get along. We've had Karen for three and a half years. And they finally can be like within 12 inches of each other. For the longest time, Karen was so mean. She would just attack Callie. She was such a feisty little cat. For the record, we found her on the street. <laughs> she was living under a sea can and had like frostbitten ears and we adopted her. She had been, oh, and Jeff had seen her on the construction site for a couple of months. So she had been living outside and yeah. She was not a nice cat for the first year. <laughs> she like bit us. Oh my God, you couldn't even pet her, she would bite you. And my girlfriend, who's a vet tech, um, she was like, you have to be patient. Sometimes it takes a year and a half, just be patient. And now she's like the most cuddly, affectionate cat ever. <laughs> Kelly, what are you doing? Busted. Okay, I think I'm set up. I think I think I'm set up. This should this should work for recording. Oh man, am I ever blown away with today. So without further ado, let's just start going through the items. Uh, and also, prices were very fair today. Sometimes I've gone in there and I'm like, this is crazy. Like their pricing is crazy. But the store is actually getting really full right now. And I wonder if they're um dropping things by a couple bucks just because they're so full and they know they have to move more inventory i don't know i always wonder how they how they make decisions in the back but to me that would make sense a lot of their sections are really full right now so first up is a pair of mountain equipment co-op not a new brand uh, these are a size xl and they're men's nylon hiking pants there is like a little bit of pilling here, but I'm just gonna clean that up with my sweater shaver. These are so cool. Fast drying, gorp core, hiking, outdoors. That's the three style tags that I'm typically using with my outdoor wear. And I like the color of these. These are cool. I'm always hoping for a pair of Patagonias, but I just think that's unrealistic. <laughs> so I will take these. Next up is a pair of Frank and Oak. I just sold a blazer from this brand for $50 within two hours of listing it. So I don't think these pants are going to sell that quick, but it's definitely a brand that people are looking for. And they're like a wide leg uh, crop pant. I don't want to describe it. And they're made out of like denim canvas material. I'm gonna have to look these up and see what the style is on them because they don't actually put style. Oh, they have a style number. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna search those and see. But yeah, I think these will probably sell for 40, 50 bucks. Next is a pair of Mountain Warehouse. I love this brand. These are a size 10. I'm really hoping that they're gonna fit me. They're like nylon hiking pants. If not, this is like gold pants for summer that, you know, in the next month, if I can lose a few pounds, I think they would fit really nice. Good for hiking. So the me pile is over there. Next up is the brand is called Sunflower, which to me really doesn't mean anything. Size large, made in Italy, but it's a uh, linen dress and it has like this beautiful crochet with ruffle sleeve. I love the color. It's almost like a gray blue. And uh, lengthwise, it's like knee length. So I think it's the perfect length. It has a little keyhole in the back. So cute. Love this. Love the texture. Very nice. Uh, this is another brand that I used to get confused with. So there's Frank and Oak, and then there's Oak and Fort. And this is another, um, I think, I don't think it's a Canadian brand, but typically their material is made from sustainable material, I thought. Doesn't say on the tag, so I guess I don't want to say that. But um, yeah, for some reason, I thought they were a sustainable brand as well. 
and this one is 100% cotton. It's like that, uh, I don't know what you'd call this. It's definitely a, a trend that kind of happened last year, but it's like that faux shoulder, like that faux shoulder um, pad and bit of a boxy fit, neutral tone. I like that. I don't even know what this will sell for. Maybe $30, $35, hoping that that goes into a bundle. Next is a Lululemon top, zip up. Uh, it was missing the tag, so I got one of the ladies to tag it, and she did very she tagged it very well. <laughs> I was like, please don't come back as $25. Uh, and it's a newer style. So I don't know how to show you guys this, but if you can see this, there should be letters and numbers around it. This is a size six and uh, it's only a couple years old. So that's nice. <clears throat> uh, this next one, ah, freaking love finding this brand. Canadian brand, Raining Champ Men's. These retail for like $170. This is in an XXL and it's gray. I freaking love this. I'm probably going to list this at like $100. And another thing cool is the zipper. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has the reigning champ emblem on there too. Those are nice and like really heavy, good quality terry, terry knit um, sweater material. Those are cool. I might see if Jeff, mm, I think it's going to be too big on him. We'll see. Maybe he'll want it. So this one I picked up for Emika, and uh, it's an Ireland soccer crew neck pullover. I don't even know what you guys call this. Anyways, thank you to the viewer. I, I, can't, I cannot remember your name, but you mentioned that one of the style tags that you're using were bloke core, and I actually searched it up, and I was like, bloke core, that's awesome. So it's B-L-O-K-E core and what it is it's like soccer core so it's like european soccer look oversized polo long sleeves with baggy jeans and yeah it's like a whole vibe totally is a style that's happening right now so mccaffrey is an irish name i actually had to call jeff and i was like is our name irish or scottish he's like irish i'm like ah, perfect so i'm gonna see if m wants this she might wear this to school um the, ugh, it's just so cool. Ireland, so pumped. I hope she likes it. I'm going to be very sad if she's like, no, mom, I'm not wearing that. Uh, what else we got in here? This is actually very expensive brand, new to me, and I'm going to, it was $13. Definitely a bolo, so you're going to want to take note of this. This is the brand Anderson Bell. And on the back of the hood, says Anderson. You can just feel the quality in this sweater, but it's a pullover sweater. <sighs> Solds are all over the place, but I'm going to list this one high. It's a gorgeous color, gorgeous color, excellent condition. Um, I think it's like a women's large. I don't, yeah, I don't, I wouldn't put it as a men's. I definitely think this would be like a women's large. And, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I don't even know where I'm going to start it. Like it might be listed at 150, maybe 200. Um, I saw some really low solds, but they were kind of like weird looking. I saw some really good solds on eBay. And uh, yeah, I got to look up what the actual retail value is, try and figure out what the style is of this, and then go from there for listing price. But if you don't know this brand, oh, there's a size on it. Oh, it's a small. It must be like a men's small then. Anyways, this is what you're looking for. Very cool piece. Uh, these next one, I just grabbed because they were a good price. <laughs> They're a pair of Zaya ombre leggings, new condition. Uh, what the hell is that? <laughs> oh no, what is that? It's like nail polish or hot glue. That's probably why. They were there. Um, hmm. I might exchange those actually. Happy I caught that. Next is a Sunday Best blouse. This is by Aritzia. Really cute piece. I'm going to see if Emika wants this to wear like over top of a dress or a tank top. Um, nice, lightweight. 
I hit the mother load of Spanx. And when I mean mother load, I mean two pairs, but I, I just rarely find this. So you can always identify Spanx by the red tag. And usually it's like flipped up when they're hanging. So this is what it looks like. And if someone has ripped off the other part, it's going to be a similar, just red tag. And then, yeah. Anyways, uh, these are like a little bit of an iridescent material. What are these size small? And then, oh, I guess another pair of the iridescent ones. And these are a size small as well. Excellent condition. One more time. Spanx. Uh, I picked up a pajama set for myself. It's by Gap. <laughs> Green, super soft material. It was like a pant set, wide leg pant set. Perfect for summer. Um, I didn't even look up the material content. Feel, oh, it's Modal. That's why it's so soft. Oh, I could not pass that up. This is a brand that I only know because I just sold a tank top by them, Tiny. It's an anthro brand. And look at the sleeves on this. It's like a velvet um, textured print material. And then I want to say that this might be silk. Let's, oh, material content tag is cut out. I would safe bet that that is silk material. Um, really cute boho type top. Uh, this next one, Vintage Naked Silk, 100% Silk, XL, purple blouse, and it has like a paisley print. Look at that. No staining, no fading. Gorgeous. Oh, I love finding silk. I was actually talking with the lady at the till, the cashier, and I was like, I, she saw this, she's like, ooh, beautiful. I'm like, yeah, I rarely find silk. And she said, you know what? Funny is we actually don't see a lot of silk come through the store. She said it's more of a vintage material. She said not many newer brands are making items 100% silk. And um, so she said, yeah, as as we get all these vintage pieces, that's about, that's about it. They do get the odd like newer brand silk item, but the vintage ones are fewer and fewer, but far in between. No, what's the phrase? I can't even think. I need to drink some water and I need to eat lunch and I can feel it in me. I just like my brain is fogged. <laughs> Might also have to do with that I checked comps on like a thousand items today. I flipped 50,000 hangers and I'm just like feeling the tiredness of going out sourcing. Next is the brand Boca. This is a vintage oversized sweater. I'm keeping this for myself. Oh, a little bit of loose thread here I'll have to fix that but oh I love Boca this is such an 80s sweater so cool um next and Eileen Fisher what did they have it priced at 950 and uh material content is linen cotton but nice kind of lilac color cardigan sweater very spring and summery uh, another brand I don't find often and it's joy but if I go to a local consignment store this stuff is marked at like 50 60 dollars so beautiful blouse let's see if it's made out of silk yes 100% silk. I kind of had a feeling it was just because Joy does really good material contents. I feel like Joy and Equipment both do a lot of silk items. So cool find. Next is this men's Lulu piece. It's an XXL. Um, I like this one. I'm going to try and sell this one locally because sometimes I pay up more for the men's items and um, with commissions and everything on Poshmark, it's just not worth selling over there. So I might try and sell that one locally on Facebook Marketplace. Next is a pair of Wilfred by Aritzia faux suede pants. These were just priced right, $4.50. Can't go wrong. Uh, I don't think they're, oh, they're a little bit new, but not like new, new. 
I'll have to look up the article number. So if you find Aritzia items and you're like, I don't know how to find the style. If you flip the tag over, there should be an article number here. I don't know if you guys could actually read that. But that article number, if you search like the brand, Wilfred, and then keywords like suede pants, and then this article number, it most times, if it's a newer one, if it's older, good luck. But if it's a newer style within probably like five years, you should be able to pull, pull up the style um, name with maybe a stock photo and a description. Okay, next is, I can't believe I found this at the thrift store. I have have I ever found this at a thrift? I found them at Buy Sell Trades. I don't know if I've ever found this at the thrift. But it's uh, for Love and Lemons. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous flower dress. Um, yeah. Ah, I can't believe I found this. I was in shock. I, I despise going through the dress section because every time you touch a hanger, a dress falls off the hanger. And I spend half the time rehanging dresses that I do flipping through them. But for some reason, I just felt drawn into some categories today and they really just gave me the fruit. They were they were pretty good. So that's a cool find. Uh, that I would probably list at like 150. This was on a rack that they had just pulled out and it's an Urban Outfitters, like oversized, I don't know how to describe it. It's like cotton, I don't even know how to describe this. I'm going to have to put it into Google Lens. But nice oversized jacket. Perfect for summer. Coastal kind of look. Uh, this is a TNA hoodie. Kind of cool. <laughs> Has the big logo. I don't know how new this is, but it was a good price. And then we're... Oh, one more item and then we're into the shoes. This is, I don't think it's a brand really. It's called Just Fashion Now, size medium, but it's a linen polyester uh, log and look blouse, like tunic blouse. So I picked it up, trying my hand at some different pieces right now, different items than I normally sell. Uh, okay, we got some shoes and then that's it. Oh man, it's a lot of items. First up, pair of Heelys. These are the first pair of Heelys I've ever found. Emika has asked for these since she was a little kid and my answer was always no because I didn't want her wearing them to school. I also couldn't justify the price for her just to wear them out. We we don't go to the mall. She doesn't come grocery shopping with me when she was young. I'm like, where are you wearing these? Like, you can't ride these down the sidewalk here in, in Canada. Our sidewalks are rough. They're nothing compared, well, at least where I live. They're nothing compared to down in the states with where you where the weather is more temper or where the weather is more even but yeah I, I bought a pair of Heelys and I am not gonna tell her <laughs> next is Nyot these are orthopedic shoes um yeah I just thought these were were cute and I think they're in a size 41 so a size ladies 10 good size this is a new to me brand and it's Allen Edmonds. This is what the bottom looks like. This is what drew my attention when I picked up the shoe. I was like, these are substantial. Uh, it looks like solds are around a hundred bucks on eBay and retail price is quite high. So I'm gonna list them on Poshmark, cross list over to eBay, sell through rate looks decent, not crazy, but decent. I think it was like 60% sell through rate, which, kind of a chance but I'll just take really good photos price a little bit lower and they should be able to sell next is a brand that I rarely find out in the wild sourcing and Stuart Wiseman whites whitesman I don't even know how to say that uh they're almost like a gladiator sandal there's a little bit of wear on the toe but I'm not really worried about that I'll price them right I didn't even look up comps uh I paid six bucks for them and I figured I could probably make some money off of them. And then the last item from the haul, which I was very excited about, the shoes did me well today, is a pair of Sorrel's. Can you guys see that? There we go. Sorrel sandals. Uh, what size? These are size seven, so a little bit small for me. I'm probably gonna do some Wonder Bomb on the leather because it's a little bit dried out. 
but uh, yeah, these are in great condition. All right, that wraps up the haul. Holy moly, what a day. Okay, let's let's go through what you guys get to win today. So you guys know we've been doing this for a couple videos now. Um, every video I select two items, you guys get to vote and someone is gonna win a reseller box on the sixth video. So five items are going in. On the sixth video, um, we'll do the draw for the box. All right, so the two pieces for today, because I'm really just loving the material content. I think these are great for summer right now. Uh, we're gonna do two linen pieces. So the first one is gonna be this Log & Luck gray linen blend tunic top. You can see it's very lightweight, gauzy material. I think this is a fabulous item. Very excited about this one. So if it doesn't get chosen, totally gonna list it. Same with the blue dress. So this is the Made in Italy um, blue linen dress. Also, um, not sad if you guys don't vote for this one because I'm excited to list this one as well. So these are your two choices. You're gonna do the gray linen tunic or the blue linen dress and uh, vote so you guys have a choice in what is going in the box. Also, if you haven't checked out the other videos, make sure to go back and vote in those as well. I'll drop the links down below for all the videos. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm excited. I got a lot of things to get photographed and uh, get listings up. So on that note, I'm gonna head out of here. I'd love to know what's your favorite piece from today? Are there any brands or styles that you didn't know about? Is there anything that you learned that was new? Also, if you have any tidbits of information of things that you learned this week, something new you picked up, a style tag, uh, a brand, anything you wanna share, drop it down below. I would love to learn from you guys as well. We're like a big sharing community and I love it. I love it because we're all growing our businesses together. All right, if you haven't already liked this video, please do so. It helps me so much in the algorithm. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. On that note, I'm gonna head out of here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.